Good morning, everyone. Uh, before starting, I just would like to introduce just a very brief information about Kaset Sat University. Kaset Sat University is located in Bangkok, Thailand. We are starting from agricultural college, but right now we are a comprehensive university. We have everything, every discipline except medical school. Uh, so, you know, the topic uh, is related to agriculture, to food, and everything like that. Uh, I want to share you some experience about this small project. The, let's see. Uh, food security center actually uh, so many uh, sponsor here, but actually the the fund come from Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development in German, and they give the money to DAD or DAD German Academic Exchange Service to set up a project they call Exit Program. This Exit Program also uh, try to set up. Center of Excellence, and they request that all the university and institute in German to apply for the project. And University of Hohenheim, uh, sorry, University of Hohenheim in Stuttgart sent the project about food security center, and it was approved. It's just only one of the five center that was approved under this project, and the the aim of or the objective of food security center is to increase global food security but the, the, the way we want to do is through education system. So within the project of course uh, University of Hohenheim in the center from German want to work with three regions and of course that is in Asia Africa and Latin America. Okay. Kasesat University was selected to be one of the strategic partners of this project, along with uh, Siaga in, in the Philippines, Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study in, and Research in Agriculture. Two partners, two strategic partners in Africa, one is, is Sokoini University in Tanzania, and the other one is uh, Ruforum. In, is also the university platform in Africa. In Latin America, there are two strategic partners. One is University of Costa Rica, and the other one is CATI, the Tropical Agricultural Research and Higher Education Center, which is also in, in uh, Costa Rica. With uh, this project uh, and several you know, our partners, strategic partners, we work on se several activities, including uh, giving out full scholarship to study abroad in, in German in, at University of Hohenheim. That is, will be a PhD program and stay over there for three years. We also have a short-term scholarship or fellowship giving out for postdoc and also for what they call sandwich program. That means the doctoral student going abroad. And the activity will involve both south to north, I mean from developing country to developed country, in this case is German, and also south to south, which means we can move from uh, Asia to Africa to Latin America and also to other uh, region that we call is, uh, developing countries and also various educational activities such as uh, regional seminar, regional workshop, short course. And the other thing that I will talk about today is the summer school. The summer school, uh, the first one started in 2010 at University of Hohenheim. And the summer school will be rotated from region to region. In 2011, it was uh, in University of Costa Rica, and last year in 2012, in Asia, and that is in Kasetsat University. Each year, the theme of the summer school will be changed, but related to food security uh, issue. 
At Kasesat University, we have uh, we set up the issue to be urban food and nutrition security, and then next year it will move to Africa, and we we still have to figure out where that will be in what countries. Uh, the structure of food security summer school is the upper level course related to food security, and. The program will last for four weeks and will be taught in English. The lecture, you know, because we try to have interaction between partners, so the lecture will be one from German. Usually, it will be from from University of Hohenheim, and the other three will be from each region. It means one from Africa, one from Asia, and one from Latin America. And the scholarship will be given out to 12 participants from three regions. This will be full scholarship, with, which means uh, travel and also living expense. We will not get any tuition fee for that. The participant can be from master level, doctoral student, or even postdoctoral post researcher. They all can participate. For 2012, as I told you already, that uh, the topic will be urban food and nutrition security, and we set up to be four weeks um, program or four module, and each week the, the the title of the lecture will be changed. Uh, for this year, I mean for 2012, the first week we have uh, the title of the lecture will be. Uh, food security concept, food system, and food planning thing. We got the lecture from Africa, from University of Cape Town, from South Africa. For the second week, is the urban and peri-urban vegetable production. We got the lecture from KU. In this case, it's Kaseza University because here in this group we have so many KU, Kyoto University. Kyushu University, Korea University, and Kongkuk University, all KU. We are talking this morning that maybe we will have meeting about KU today. Okay. Uh, the third week is about nutrition and nutritious food. We got uh, the lecture from German. That's, as I told you, that usually we got the, the lecture from University of Hohenheim, but uh, this year, with the problem with availability, we got the professor from University of Gießen, but also from German. And the last one is about aquaponics. We got the lecture from University of Costa Rica. And the way we, we conduct the course, all have lecturing, discussion, group working, and also field practice and field trips. This year, the, the activity, I mean, this program was set late in the year due to a uh, flooding problem in Bangkok and in Thailand in 2011. So we postponed all the program, and, but it was uh, set up in November. So we put out the announcement in September, and we give just only 16 days you know, from September 14, and it's end in the deadline is September 30. But within these 16 years, Unbelievable! I got more than 50 applicants from all these three regions because of our network. Uh, the course duration is start. I mean, the whole month of November, and the scholarship were divided into be four scholarship for each region. You can see the diversity of participants. We intentionally select the participant. Actually, we, we want to have one participant from each country. Uh, we have uh, three regions, of course, Asia. We got one student from Indonesia. Uh, uh, she's from Bogor Agricultural University. We got one student from Vietnam, one student from Philippines, and one from, from Iran. But actually, he worked in UPM at uh, University of Putra, Malaysia. We've got uh, three participants from Africa, from Uganda, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Zambia. And also in Latin America, we've got Argentina, 
Guatemala, but uh, actually we want to have only one from Costa Rica and the other one from Peru, but we have some problem with his incoming, so we decide to have two Costa Rica. And actually we plan to have uh, seven female and five male, but you know, because of the change at, during the last minute, so we have the total of eight female and four males, you know, a little imbalance, but that's what we got. And the educational level we have from, you know, two postdocs, two doctoral, three master graduate, and five master student. You can see that uh, the diversity of background, you know, students come from several backgrounds, from various backgrounds. Why we want to do that? Because we select the topic about food security. Food security is multidisciplinary thing, multidisciplinary issue. So we want to get everyone get involved in food security program. So you can see that not only in, uh, in agriculture, not only in agriculture, but economics, food tech, you know, even from social anthropology. And we got uh, far deep to food science technology and molecular biology and biotechnology. You know, you, you, you can imagine, you know, students from several disciplines staying in the same room and talking about one issue, you know, about food security. So this is uh, the activity in the first week because we talk about food distribution system. So the student have chance to go to the market to see how we sell things in Thailand. Uh, this is the wholesale market in Bangkok and suburb of Bangkok. During the second week, students have hand-on experience about growing vegetables in, in, in the city, in the farm inside Bangkok and you know they they all enjoy having fun with that. Third week, you know, about nutrition and the final week about aquaponics. So this is just to share the experience and my impression about these uh, activities. At the end, you know the student give a very positive response. We ask if they recommend this type of thing this type of activity to other students, they say yes, and they are very appreciated with the, the course. They were given uh, the certificate of attendance, nothing about credit, anything. And, you know, because of the, the multidisciplinary nature of the topics, the students feel that they can be part of the solution for global food security in the future. No. What we expect from this is the friendship and also sharing experience. That's why we have students from several countries, several uh, three continents, and sharing information, sharing knowledge. And what we want is we want the network of young scientists for future collaboration on global issue. And food security is just only one of the examples for that. One of the outcome, you know, that's why we, I want to say this sharing experience. This is uh, the email that I got from the last lecture. He sent information and, I dis and this information was distributed to all the network of these young scientists. And this is the, the, the information that he, he talked about, aquaponic agriculture, get into the newspaper. So this is just to share the experience that what we want is just sharing information and sharing experience and we want it to be global issue. Thank you for your attention.